Previously, on Too Close to Home. Get yourself together, girl. I'm working on something, okay? Something big. The president suffered a heart attack. You made the fatal mistake of coming after what's mine. I'm going to destroy you. <sighs> the last person to see the president was an aide. Her name is Annie Bell Hayes. Your sister took my love. Yeah, she took both your lives now, didn't she? Bonnie, I need your keys. Oh, damn it, Bonnie. You got the keys. I need you. Let her go. Sheriff, it's Bonnie. What's going on, little darling? I think somebody broke into May Sally's. I'm on my way. Okay. All right. Sheriff, away, there's no need. It's it's Dr. Allen. What? Yeah, he's here. What's he doing? I do not know. Yeah, Brody's been looking for him. Okay, I'll, I'll just call Brody and uh, tell him to come get him. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. -bye. Hey, Brody. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bonnie. Is this an emergency? I'm looking for my daddy. No, uh, your dad is here. Where? He's at the diner. Is he all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, okay, Brody? Now, listen, can you take the keys from him and hold him there, please? W what keys? The truck. Well, there's no truck here, Brody. What? Yeah. I'm on my way. Uh, okay, wait, wait, can you... Hello? Yeah? Can you bring him some clothes? 
clothes. He's, he's naked. The hell? I'm on my way. Okay. See you soon. Dr. Allen? I'm cold. I bet you are. Why am I so cold? Well, you don't have any clothes on. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. Why not? I don't know. I don't know either. Where are your clothes, Dr. Allen? I, I tried to make some coffee. I couldn't work that damn machine. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I can see that. I'll just, um, I'll make you some, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll just get that later. I, I, I want to give you something, all, all right? right? Sally. Huh? Where's May Sally? She she back there. May Sally died, Dr. Uh, Allen. My wife died? She died? Where 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 when, okay. when did she die? What happened to her? Look at me, look at me. Uh, I, uh, I'm Bonnie. Oh. Yeah. Did, did you clean that bathroom wall? What? Your sister would go in there and take men in there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know about your father. And Rebel. And Mac. And, and, and that little one. Did I make you cry? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have to follow the trees. Trees. You have to follow them. You like daisies, don't you? Yeah, me too. And they say your other sister is in trouble with the president. What? Oh, on the radio. Well, what does she do with the president? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well. She always was the uppity one. And have his figures. Now she's in trouble. She's in trouble.
Hi. Hi. How'd you sleep? Good. Good. Uh, do you want breakfast? No. 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 You sure? Yeah. I'm gonna head out. Uh, where are you going? Um, home. What time are you at work? I'm not going in. Why not? You ask a lot of questions. You sound like a reporter. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I just don't feel like it. Oh, that must be nice. What? To just not feel like it and not go. May I use your shower before I leave? Yeah, yeah, take your time, please. Yeah. Oh, and you can wash your clothes too if you want. Wash my clothes. Oh, well, you know why you shower. You know, there's a uh, detergent in the bathroom and the washing dryer's in the little closet. Are you saying I need to wash my clothes? <laughs> I'm just offering you my washer. You don't want to leave the way you came, do you? I don't really care. Like, well, I do. I have neighbors, and I don't want you making the walk of shame out of here. What? The walk of shame? It's when the girl stays at the guy's house and she... No, I know. I know what a walk of shame is. Yeah. So then you use the washer and take your time. Okay. Why are you being so nice to me? Oh, that's a question I hate. Why is that? Well, because I get it all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I meet a girl, and I'm nice to her, and she wants to know why. And not all guys are out. Yeah, I know that. Okay, so just take it to someone watching out for you. Thanks. I have a, a hyperallergenic uh, body wash. It's pretty nice. Okay. And there's a, a toothbrush under the sink. Oh, this is like a common thing for you, isn't it? What? There's the toothbrush, the washer, the dryer. I mean, what? Next thing I need to do is order me a car service home. Come on. No, I mean this is this sounds like a really regular thing for you. No, it's not. I just happen to have a new toothbrush. You can have a hair dryer and makeup too. You know, no makeup, but my ex-girlfriend left her hairbrush and her curling iron, so feel free to use that. She left it, or you never gave it back? No, she didn't want it back. Mmm. Uh, you must have done something really bad. No, no, I didn't. So what happened? Well, she was having an affair with a pretty powerful man, and I found out about it. How powerful? Pretty powerful. What happened then? Well, his wife found out, and she went after her. She wanted to destroy her. And what was the result? Well, it's still being written. She's in a lot of turmoil because of it. Why am I telling you any of this, huh? You don't know anything about this kind of thing, do you? No. No, I don't. You go shower. Yeah. Your car. Told you last night, no, oh. and I meant it. All right, well, have you seen your sister? No, but you have. I need to All find your her. sister, Bonnie. I don't care what you need, JB. Bonnie, look at me. Why are you sweating like that? I need to find her. Why? Why do you need to find her so bad? 
I already told you this last night. She took my truck, and I need to find my load. Yeah. You blew your load last night, didn't Damn it. You? Damn it, Bonnie. I just call need to find my truck. I... If she stole your truck, you can call the sheriff. I, I don't. You don't. I, I don't. I don't what? I can't do that, Bonnie. You know what I can't do? This. Anymore. I gave you chance after chance. I don't know why the hell I keep taking you back. Maybe. Why don't you have Deborah take you, huh? Well, Deborah, she had to go to work. Well, you're out of luck then, aren't you? So get out of here. Don't touch me, Bonnie. JB. Get me out of here. Stop it. No, JB. Get out of here, please, Bonnie. Stop it, JB. Get out of here, please. Stop it, JB. Get out of here, please. 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 Stop, 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 stop. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Who the hell do you think you are? Touch either one of them again. Stop it. Stop! <laughs> No brother of mine. You are damn right about that. Get out of here, JB. You boys, stop it! Shut up! Don't you dare talk to him like oh, that! You go to hell. The only reason that you're taking care of him is because you know that you're in the will. You just need to let him die so I can get what's mine, you bro. Son of a bitch. That damn it! Stop it! JB, get on out of here! I just need to use your car. I said no. Look, I will give you a ride. Where are you going? No. Nope. What is going on? My sister stole Bonnie. My sister stole his truck. Why the hell didn't you just say so? Hell, even my back of ass deputy can find a big rig. Hey, did she steal it? No, no, she didn't steal you it. You just told me she stole Bonnie. your truck. What? Well, she don't have a license to drive that thing. She just wanted to use it. No, she didn't. She stole it. She didn't steal it. Nope. Look, I'll, I will find it. We'll help you no. find it. Boy, I will. Brody, take your daddy on home. Be sure he don't get his hands on those keys again. We found your truck. It's over on Dawson near the creek. Damn. Is it in the creek? It's up to the mirrors in the water. Great. Damn it, JB. <laughs> You and your brother. Yeah, he never wanted to have a thing to do with me, so... But your mother... That Dr. Allen son of a bitch always treated me like dog crap. I was just a bastard child that his horrible wife brought home. Brody. Brody was his son. He never liked me. Well, you two need to learn to get along. I just along. wanted to die. Come in, Sheriff. Okay, I, I, I don't... Wait, hold on a minute. We found it. Where is it? Conley Filler Station on 45. <laughs> okay. Roger that. Look, I... Yo, I don't need you to go find it. I'll take you from I'm here. I'm bringing you. I'm fine, Mobley. Look, I said I'm bringing you. Besides, you need to calm down anyway. I'm... I'm okay. I said I'm bringing you, JB. That gummit, Mobley. What? Hell, we found your truck. Yeah, Show yeah. some gratitude. Yeah. You don't think you'd be nice. Thank you. Well, you ought to be glad you're still gonna have a job. Yeah, yeah, real, real glad. Get in the car. treat you like that. Stop it, please. No, answer me. Brody, enough. You son of a bitch. Your hand is swollen. I'm fine. I'm gonna get some ice for you. No, hand. I'm fine. Brody, stop. Look, I'm just gonna get him home. All right. Why don't you take my car? No. Put him on the back of my bike. Are you kidding me? That's a terrible idea. I've take got my this. Car. Why are you so damn stubborn? Excuse me. 
I'm offering to help you. Why don't you take it? Take my car and bring it back after my shift. No, you know what? I'll bring your motorcycle to your house, okay? Please. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. Thank you, Bonnie. Come on. What happened to you, Bonnie? Hmm? You used to be a shrink in Violet. <laughs> yeah, well, you hang around this bulk long enough, you turn into a warrior. Yeah, well, I see that. Thank you for helping me with him. Sure. You know, you are good with him. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna offer my help no more. If you need help, you're gonna have to ask me, okay? Change for Mama's rent. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, get. Girl, this better be good. Got me driving all the way out here. Oh, it's good. It's good. He drives for an electronics company, so I know there's all kinds of TVs and computers in there, so... How much you gonna give me for it? Let us check it out first. Well, you got something I can... I can hold while you check it out? Girl, you got it bad. Come on, I just need something to take the edge off. Yeah, well, I don't got nothing. X-ray... Hey! I know you got something. Come on. Shut the hell up. X-ray... What do you say, Z? What do you got in there? Yeah, we'll take it. All right, bitch. How much you want for it? I think, like, ten grand. Girl, you're crazy. What? There's a lot of TVs and computers in there. Look, bitch, we gotta take all the risk. Okay, fine, fine. Seven thousand. <laughs> I'll give you a grand. A grand? X-ray, come on, you, you know that's... You No! Come on, Z! No. no. Let's go. No, no, no. Not so fast. We'll give you five grand for it. And I'll go in some of that magic you're looking for. What the hell are you talking about? I got this. Man. I got it. You're gonna give me... I, I'll take it. I'll take it. He's got serial numbers on him. He's gonna give this. Yeah. No. Damn. Thank you so much. My clothes actually dirty. Really Anna. What is this? Hi. I'm Cal. Hi. What's going on? I'm with the Washington Sun. We'd like to interview you. About what? Your affair with the president. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Roll on this, Chris. No, don't roll on anything. What is he doing? Anna, Anna, look, this is serendipitous, okay? I'm a journalist with Washington Sun, and Carol's my editor. All right, we can help you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. We can help tell your side of the story. I don't know what you're talking about. Just, we just want to ask you a couple questions. Okay, well, I have nothing to say. Look, well, we, we just want to just talk Where's to us. Where's my purse? Where's my purse? Do you know that the president, he suffered a heart attack? And we have reports that you were the last person to see him alone. I have nothing to say. Move. Talk to us. The world should hear your side of the story. I have nothing to say. God, where's my purse? I don't know where it is. The Secret Service has said you're not a person of interest. But there are rumors about an affair with you and him, and that he suffered a heart attack while having sex with you in the Oval Office. We can help you. I don't need your help. You okay? Have it here I don't need outside you. that door. Anna, you haven't gone out Leave there. Leave me alone. Who is it? It's Anna! Dax. Yeah, who is it? You may want to take a look at this. Dax. Do not let her in here, Dax. Dax. She can't come in. She can't come in. We can't do this. She can't come in. They are killing her out there. And they're going to kill us for letting her in here. Dax. Dax. No. What did, you, what did you just do? I opened the door. Why? This is wrong. What she did was wrong. We all know that, but we can't do this to her. OK, so what about us? A way to go, Val. Be selfish. Really, Victor? Dax. I asked you not to open the door. Are you upset? Victor. Well, you're really about to be upset now. You're not in. Is this who we are? No, this is who she is. We're not doing this. We're not. Why did you come here? I have nowhere to go. And then she brings him to your front door. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. Valerie. You know what? I have about had it with this bitch. She is so selfish. She only cares about herself. I'm sorry. Oh, save it for the man's wife. You see what you did? Do you see? You think this is by accident? How do you think it's... The White House. Damn it. Hello? Hello. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you. 
You have to go. Now. What did they say? You shouldn't be here, okay? Go. Please. Did you not know that there was a live feed that followed you all the way to this front door? Did you not know that? I'm sorry. Please don't say that again. Please. Just leave. I have nowhere to go. Whose problem is that? I gave you all the money we had. And I lost my purse. You know what? You have so many damn excuses. Can you please just get me a ticket home, please? <laughs> a ticket home. Please. Why can't your parents help? Oh, that's right. Because you lied. You lied about being rich. You lied about being from up north. Yeah, we know your whole story, Miss Annie Bell. Please. Get out of my house. Please don't send me back out there, Dex. They're saying horrible things to me. Like what? Let me think. Excuse me, are you the backwoods whore that fooled an entire staff of decent, hardworking young people Enough. by screwing the president? Enough. Get her out of here. This is our apartment. Dax, are you gonna let him talk to me like this? Maybe you should leave. I'm not going out there with those people. Just shut up! <sighs> Jesus. Look, I could put a plane ticket together on my credit card. That is my credit card. And no, you won't. You will not tell me what to do. What the hell's gotten into you? You and this and all this. Are you serious? When did our credit card become your credit card? Since I pay all the bills. Oh, so you're really gonna throw that in my face? Hmm? Victor, we've talked about this. How dare you do this in front of them? I'm not having it. Where are you going? Happy Alabama. She can't be serious. Is this it? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Hey, David. Ah, so what do you got? Oh, it looks like it's all there. I didn't even know she could drive a big rig, you know? Hell, that girl could do anything. <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face. Oh, hell, I didn't mean nothing. I know what you meant. Any sign of her? No, uh, keys are still in the truck, though. Well, you want to press charges? No, no, it's a family matter, you know? You sure? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's fine. Okay, well, looks like your load's okay, so. Okay, well, uh, thank you. Thank you, Sheriff Mobley, Deputy. Sure, sure. JB, do me a favor, will you? Yeah. Stay out of trouble, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. There. Show. Go. They're not going away. They won't until this leaves. No luck on the bus ticket, but it's a 12-hour drive. What? Yep. We're driving her. Victor. She's not going back out there. That's not our problem. I'm not doing that. Well, I'm not driving her. I am most certainly not getting in the car with her. Fine. I'll do it. Absolutely not. Watch me. You have work to do. You're the one who pays all the bills, remember? 
I'm just gonna go to the south and take some photos. You're not doing this. Dax, you know me. You see what you're causing? Why don't you just leave? She's right, Victor, you can't drive me. I don't want to hear it. Victor. I don't want to hear it. Can I talk to you for a minute in private? No. You've never been in the South, the deep South in some place called Happy Alabama. And? And it's a different place than here. This is America. Some places don't change. What do you mean? It means that you can't go in wearing a blouse and jeans with the knees cut out, Victor. What are you saying? I'm not trying to say anything about you, but I just remember when we were campaigning with the president and those backwood towns, and they're not going to accept you looking like that. I'm going. Do you have any idea how many states in the South have laws against gay marriage and everything we stand for? I'm going. Victor, you cannot do that. They're going to tear you apart. I'm not letting you go. You're not letting me go? No. See, that's the problem. You always tried to control me. I've had enough. And I'm going. I, I should go. I mean, that's the best damn thing she said all day. Look, you're not getting on that bus. They're going to hound you all the way there. And I'm not going to sit here and watch it. I won't. I'm going to drive you. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Victor. What are you doing? I'm going. That's what I'm doing. Dax, do not let him do this. Come on, Anna. Let's go to the service elevator. Victor, you're just going to go? Victor. Yes, I am. Now let me go. Please, Victor. <laughs> Move. It's not here. The hell you mean it ain't here? It's not here. Well, JB? I lost the load. No. You mean you lost the load? Talk! My girlfriend's sister jumped in the truck and took off when I fell asleep. When I woke up and found it, the packages were gone. What's this girl's name? Shelby. That's your girlfriend's name? No, that's her sister's name. What's your girlfriend's name? Bonnie. Where does she live? I will get it back. Where does she live? On Highway 16. That's not her brother. Better tell him. I will get it back. I thought you said this was going to be all right. I thought for sure it was. You got 24 hours to give me my package. A Bonnie Shelby and every other piece of white trash on Highway 16 is going to be killed.
Next, on Too Close to Home. I told you I'd get the money. Okay, so you've seen Shelby. Oh, yeah, she was here earlier. Did she have any money? A lot of cash. Who's that? Do not know. Not from around here? I've never seen him before. You're, you're in danger. Everything you just said is a motive for murder. You ain't so damn perfect. You, you don't touch me. You, you don't touch me. I don't see it over here. Keep looking. 